Warm weather in November and December might not have made it feel like the holiday season, but it helped give young crawfish in Louisiana a chance to grow. Water temperatures in some ponds were as high as 75 degrees at the end of December, making it feel more like March. This temperature where the water temperatures jump in between 60 to 70 degrees, uh, that's optimum for crawfish growth and uh, we'll, we'll just continue to have a good uh, amount of crawfish available in the marketplace. More seasonal temperatures have returned in January, but because many crawfish have reached market size, crawfish producers have started fishing earlier. One threat to the crawfish industry is the deadly white spot virus. Unfortunately, little is known about it. We don't know the transmission vectors uh, at this point, uh, whether it's birds or whether it's uh, insects or uh, something in the water. Uh, we, don't, we haven't identified that yet, just how it gets into a pond. Haley Gamble is a graduate student involved in collecting field data for a white spot research project. Studying white spot and crawfish is somewhat of a groundbreaking experience for her. Not a lot of published literature um, on white spot uh, within crawfish ponds. So this is one of the first really intensive studies to look at white spot within an aquaculture context. Shirley is quick to point out that white spot is only a threat to crustaceans. The virus might be present or not present in a sack of crawfish that you uh, boil this weekend. Uh, it's not a concern for people. So go ahead and enjoy the crawfish. It doesn't affect the taste. It doesn't affect anything else. Uh, enjoy Louisiana crawfish. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.